So a lot of parents that I work with who are contemplating divorce are worried about the effect that divorce is going to have on their children. And they wonder, if, should they stay married for the sake of the children? In general, people don't stay married for the sake of the children in the way that they used to. And in part, that's because people, most parents today believe that if the parents are unhappy, then the kids must be happy. And I'd like to say that sometimes that's really true. We know that the research shows that in high-conflict marriages, and those are marriages where there's ongoing baby you know, verbal abuse, physical abuse, swearing, screaming, children are harmed in that in those situations, and they're much better off when the parents divorce, assuming when the parents divorce, they don't continue the high conflict, which as is the case in 25% of divorces. But when parents divorce from a high conflict marriage and um, go on and have happier lives, kids actually do better in that situation. But some parents stay married not only for the sake of their children, but for the sake of themselves, because they can't, they hate the idea of being separated from their children. So they stay with somebody that they're not very happily married to, or even unhappily married to, because the idea of spending any time apart from their children is just too painful. And in that situation, I think it's a completely reasonable thing to do. You know, in our culture, we've gotten so oriented towards personal happiness and growth that we don't realize some of the sacrifices that we make when we end a marriage. This isn't to say that I'm against divorce, because I'm not. But I think there's a, place to, there's a place in our culture and society to stay where one could or should stay together for the sake of the children. And I think that that's a very valid one. The second point that I want to make about that is this idea that if the parents are unhappy, the children must be unhappy too. Sometimes that is true, as in the high case of a high conflict marriage. But a lot of parents do actually a perfectly good job of containing their unhappiness. They do it in a mature way. The kids don't really necessarily know that the parents are unhappy um, because the parents don't particularly fight. They may not have the closest, most affectionate relationship, but they have a reasonable marriage. And in those, those marriages, in those households, children seem to do okay. Now, I don't think, and the research shows that they don't do quite as well as in those households, households where the parents may, um, you know, are happy and affectionate and that kind of thing. But they may do better in that situation than if the parents divorce and are fighting or they remarry and the kids don't see the parents as much. All these things have to be thought about in a very comprehensive way.